New information after a SWAT team and negotiators were called to downtown Eugene this morning. We're hearing from the man who neighbors reported was armed and running down the street holding a baby. And at one point he was reportedly screaming and chasing a woman near 7th and Tyler. Police say that woman was never found and after interviews they determined nobody was in danger and no crime had been committed. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. And I'm Brian Richardson in for Matt. KEZI 9 News reporter Nat Nguyen is live in Eugene where this all started with the man who says that he was involved. Nat? Brian, Renee, that's right. We're here at 7th and Tyler where it all went down. A very different scene from this morning. As we were getting ready for our 5 o'clock show, that man you were just talking about, this person of interest, his name is Stephen Mara, approached us and said he wanted to give us his side of the story. He, and he's here now to do just that. So, Stephen, if you just come right over here, why don't you start with what exactly happened this morning? Well, this morning I went outside to have a cigarette after I put my daughter down for a nap. And I had guns pointed at me and told me to hit the ground and all this other stuff so I went back inside the apartment and um, what ensued was a standoff and you were telling me you stayed inside and they were still outside what happened next well what happened next was I kept showing them my hands telling them I'm not armed there is no issue here I showed them my child Indica was fine and uh, they would not go away uh, they insisted on having me come out so I did not so what eventually happened though? You said you went to walk your dog. Eventually I went to go walk my dog after they cleared out. They uh, brought all the cop cars out and left the area apparently. But when I went outside to walk my dog, that's when they came and they just surrounded me and took me into custody. That's when they took my child. Can you tell us, uh, police officer said like the initial call came in that somebody was running down the street with a baby and a gun screaming and shouting at people chasing people don't you think that this was an appropriate reaction to kind of ensure the public safety if that was true then yes but honestly no they overreacted here they they brought guns to my child that really don't need to happen you know so this went on for about i think you said more than two hours a couple hours all right so then, you know, were you being cooperative? You told us, despite what police had said, that you actually did not have a gun. Were you being cooperative? Why did this go on for so long? It went on so long because I would not come out of my house. That's all there is to it. They had no right to demand me out. They had no right to come in. So I held them at bay. I just, with my rights. You know, that's, that's what's important here. Um, so you gotta stand up for your rights. They did tell us, and you know, that no charges were filed against you, no crime was committed. Yeah. What is your big concern right now, though? Getting my child back. I have to go to court tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. They took her for no reason at all. They, they have no concerns. They searched the house. They went through it. They looked at me. They, they checked me out, and they took my kid anyway. They took my baby Indica. Thank you so much, Stephen, for your time. We really appreciate you giving us your side of the story. Um, back, just so you guys know, we did talk with some other people. Some people agreed with what Stephen was saying. Others said that they felt that the police response was appropriate. The cops had to come and check out to see if anything was wrong. To hear more from them, you can go to KEZI.com. Live in Eugene, Nguyen, KEZI 9 News.